Hello everyone and welcome to IGN, I'm Alana and today I'm very excited to be showing you guys The Sims 4 console version. This is specifically on the Xbox and it is a very early version so keep that in mind when we jump in. But um, I'm going to be showing you the creator sim and we will have other videos on the actual gameplay. So this one is just uh, creating a sim on console. From the get-go, it's very different. First thing I tried to do right there with the cursor was uh, adjust my name, and you can't do that. You have to sort of tab between things. The cursor doesn't work like an actual cursor, so it does take a little while to get used to, especially if you're used to the PC version, so I think there's a bit of a learning curve. Like, all of this stuff that you're seeing is kind of tiered. You can see the marker while I'm trying to choose a face, like, jumping between them. Um, you can't scroll, so I think things are just generally a little bit slower, but there is a lot of choice, and... Thankfully, um, not a lot of graphical fidelity lost. I think it still looks very good. I'm sure if you did a side-by-side -side with a high-end PC that it would look different, but um, I think for the most part, it looks pretty great. It's better than I was expecting, so pretty spot-on for uh, Sims. We're just looking at different hairstyles here. I think that one looks pretty cool. And then... Uh, yeah, they have all the different different kinds, basically, as oh, I just tabbed over to formal accidentally, that's my bad. <laughs> okay. Can check out some facial hair options here, which is pretty much the same. Um, of course, without a cursor, which I kind of wish they had. You can't just, you know, roll around and select. You have to... Um, oh, I remember struggling with this bit. I'm trying to put an earring on here. This was tough because I couldn't figure out how to get rid of the earrings, and he had them by default. So, yeah, obviously you can see everything here. Um, but yeah, it also mentioned when, when that control screen's up, um, the way that you toggle to... So we're playing with the creator sim right now, the way that I toggle to edit the name or get out of the system or uh, add a family member is by pressing the uh, what was the back button on the Xbox controller. And then it um, basically puts you into the UI. So it's like two kind of different control schemes, which is a little confusing at first, but uh, you can pick it up pretty cool. Why not make this guy a, a rebel pilot? Why not? So uh, yeah, abilities to edit bodies are in there as well. It's nowhere near as smooth as it is on PC. Um, obviously you can see it's a little jagged when I'm trying to change them, so that is one noticeable change. But I don't think it's hugely problematic. Um, this is kind of the same, it's just a... Well, it's pretty similar. It's just a, it's just a little jagged, so it feels like you have slightly less control, or maybe it's just that the animation doesn't look quite as nice. Um, it may be that the results are exactly the same, so... I'm gonna pick a jacket for you now, buddy. That's alright. Wait, I think I like this one. That's cool. There, there we go. And, uh, yeah, plenty of stuff in here to look over. Not a fan of that formal wear that he's, uh, he's got on there. I need to find a way to fix that up but first. I think we... Changes pants. Basically what's the same. Like I said, it's like a, a kind of double system. Because you can't just select a skirt or shorts. You have to scroll through every single item to pick it. Um, so yeah, it definitely takes pretty much twice the amount of time, uh, the creator sim. But, you know, a lot of people like hanging out in the creator sim, so that's not so bad. It's a fun place to be. So it's not the worst thing in the world. Give him some different shoes. These look like Adidas, or Adidas, however you want to pronounce that. We tend to say Adidas in Australia. And some cool kicks down here with lots of bright colors. Ah! Very cool. I think I'm not going to go with those ones, though. Not bad. None of these look perfect, but... Um, yeah, so just tabbed over to formal again. I guess it's very easy to do. It's just... Uh, with one of the bumpers. Oop, let's just get him gain some weight. So yeah, the UI is, you know, it's not perfect. Jumpsuits, we don't want that. Sets. That looks pretty good for a formal suit. I like that better than the whatever the weird ensemble he's got here, so. Um give him some athletic wear. Gotta get a nice sweater. Oh, no sweaters? Okay. T shirt. And then uh -huh. some different bottoms. I guess like I'm happy with the grey pretty much, so. Wow, those are very small shorts. Good sir. Very small. 
No underwear. <laughs> Alrighty. Give him a watch or something. Yeah, you can work out with a watch on and have it at no other time. Uh, sleepwear. Ah, I like his shoes. Very nice bunny boots, my dude. Very good. Yeah, give him a bathrobe, maybe. On to party. Well, it can't be the same as the formal one. we got to give him something different for that, so... That's fine. <laughs> he looks maybe a little bit dorky. Maybe we should change it a bit. Just not a fan of that uh, outer jacket there. So, we go to tops. Again, it is, yeah, just, just uh, definitely a learning curve trying to remember how to do this. It takes a bit. Ooh, I like this. This is nice. Put some pants on, man. What are you doing? Come on. Gotta get some pants on him. Black ones. Eh. That'll do. He looks possible, I guess. And I don't want to spend too much time just, like, customizing things. But I do want you guys to be able to see what the options are so you know. Um, so, yeah, this is me again trying to figure out how to edit the name. I just couldn't figure out how to do it. Um, I ended up, I think, asking someone how to do it because it's really not intuitive. <sighs> Um, but yeah, it is that, that kind of toggle button that can still spin him around with a different control. I like that. It has pretty much all of the same actual functionality, so that is very cool. All of these things are basically the same as they've ever been. Change the voice here. It's a pretty easy to use slider, so it just kind of goes up and down. Nothing too flash, and then um, you just have to move through everything one by one. I think I like that one. Let's see what the others are. That's alright. Nice. That one's me right now. <laughs> the tired one, that is. Good stuff. Alright, pick an aspiration. Aspirations are all pretty much included as well. You will make him. Fabulously wealthy. That's his aspiration for Geralt Jones. Active. Uh, I can self-assured. That makes sense to me too. We can move it over to the other traits. Um, I like to give them one negative trait or one that's hard to manage. So those two should be easy. Jealous. That seems like a good one. And then we jump into the game world with Geralt Jones. So this is what the uh, creator sim looks like on console. Thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for more Sims 4 content.